North Carolina family. It's Miss Ashley here coming at you again on another Monday. Just want to check in and make sure that everybody's doing good. Y'all are staying on track with your schoolwork, getting logged in and doing what you need to do. And I just want to remind everyone to continue to come on out um, to our clubs in Granville, Vance, and Halifax County. It has been awesome to see you all every evening for dinner. Continue to come out. Even if you are from our Warren or our Franklin County clubs, we're not too far from you. If you want to come on out, grab a free dinner and say hey to some of your uh, club staff. We're missing you and we would love to see you for a couple of minutes as you drive by. All right, so today we are in the kitchen again. We're gonna be making another snack. So this one involves a little bit of cooking. It involves some time with the oven, so you definitely want to get permission from your parents and get some help as well, okay? All right, so before we get started, before I share with you exactly what we're gonna make in, uh, what we're gonna be making, let's go ahead and knock out this club code. Everyone should know it by now, right? You should pause me, put me on mute, and go ahead and say it together, okay? So I believe in God and the right to worship according to my own faith and religion. I believe in America and the American way of life, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. I believe in fair play and sportsmanship. I believe in my Boys and Girls Club, which stands for these things. All right, y'all. So today we are in the kitchen and we are going to be cooking up some crescent roll-ups, some crescent stuffed roll-ups. All right, let's name it right here, right now. So. You need a couple of ingredients, not a whole lot. You might have some of these things in your refrigerator already. Um, so what we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using some crescent rolls, some honey baked ham, some shredded cheese. So that's gonna be our first option. So we're gonna make two options. So we're gonna make um, like a lunch or a snack option, and then one that's a little bit sweeter. So we have, I have some homemade strawberry jelly. You can use any kind of jelly that you might have on hand though. Um, I'm sure grape would be good. Raspberry is also one of my favorites. Um, and then some cream cheese. All right, so to get started, um, either grab a plate or I have a, a cutting board right here, something that you can roll uh, your crescent rolls out onto. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open and then um, get the stuff in them. It's the best part, right? These are the buttery flaky kind I can actually already smell that buttery smell coming off of them. Another thing really quick, um, when you get started, just go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So after we um, stuff these up, we are gonna pop them in the oven and cook them for just a few minutes. All right, so we've got, let's see, two, four, six, eight crescent rolls in this package. So we're gonna go ahead and make four of each. So you wanna just, Gently pull them apart so that it's easy to stuff them and then wrap them up. And if you don't like turkey, I mean ham, you can definitely do some turkey. You can do just cheese. If, you, if you're if you a cheese lover, I like some cheese. Um, and you can definitely, you know, switch up what you're, what you're sticking in these. So we're gonna take one, maybe we'll do one and a half pieces of ham. I'm gonna fill these up and then um, move the camera so that y'all can see what we've got going on over here. And then we're gonna drop some shredded cheese right on top. In fact, I'm gonna do all of them and then flip the camera so y'all can see what, what we've got over here. So you wanna try to keep them inside the roll but you're definitely gonna have some cheese to kind of ooze out, but that's almost the best part, so I wouldn't even be too upset about that. Some ham, this is my last one. And then some cheese. All right, let me, um, Flip this camera around so y'all can see. So, as you can see, we've got our ham and our cheese looking good. 
All right, I'm gonna roll these up. And so let me grab my pan right over here. So just any kind of baking pan that you have, put down some foil or if you have a um, silicone mat so that they don't stick, that is perfect. Roll them up, do the best that you can to kind of squeeze the sides and keep that cheese and ham stuffed in. I'm not gonna show you this first one because it's pretty ugly. I'm gonna try much harder on the second one. Check that out. Looks good. So we'll get these other two rolled up and then I'll check back with y'all in a second, okay? All right, so we've got our ham and cheese ready to go. I'm gonna move on to our cream cheese and jelly. I'm actually gonna move this camera a little bit so that y'all get a little bit of a better, better view as we're putting them together. All right, so we're just gonna cut our cream cheese and we wanna grab um, just a little cube of it right here. Stick it right in the center of each crescent roll. And then we're gonna add our jelly on top and roll these up. So then, like I said, I've got strawberry, but you can definitely do this with any flavor that you have. Get these rolled up. Try to fold the sides in so we um, don't ooze out everywhere. Not bad. All right, so this is our finished. Well, they're not finished. They need to be cooked now, but this is our Roll-ups all ready to go in the oven. So we are going to, like I said, you know, you have your oven preheated to 350, so we're gonna throw these in there. Um, you really wanna cook them for about nine to 12 minutes, but it just kinda depends on your oven. So go ahead and set your timer for nine minutes and then check on them before you take them out, all right? So I'll check back with y'all in about nine to 12 minutes, all right? All right, guys, we're back, check it out. We're all cooked. This is why you definitely need to line your pan. My jelly oozed out everywhere. So I've got two on a plate here to give it a shot. Um, it ended up taking 15 minutes to cook it in my oven. So, you know, you just wanna make sure you set your timer and you check because everyone's oven is a little bit different. So it might only take you nine, um, but let's see. We're gonna dive into this cream cheese and jelly first. That is great. Tastes just like a butter and jelly biscuit with a little bit of cream cheese on there. And then we have ham and cheese roll up right here. Not bad. If I were gonna be eating these for lunch, I'd probably dip them in a little bit of mustard, maybe some ranch dressing if that's what you like. But these are awesome. These are pretty awesome too. All right, y'all, happy Monday. Try this out, take a picture, send it to us, okay? All right, see y'all later.